Today I'm going to be sharing with you some really key terms that you should know if you're considering buying and selling a home. As we're entering into a balanced market, we're wavering right now in that three to 3.2 or so of inventory with homes on market, you have a choice. And those choices are based on whether you make an offer on your home to purchase as a home to sell contingency or a home to close contingency. Hi there, I'm Melissa Shaw, Lewis Realtors. I've sold thousands of homes over the past two decades and helped many hundreds of clients like yourself who are considering buying and selling at the same time. And here's just one key point and differentiator that I really feel is really important for you to know when you're considering buying and selling at the same time. I'm going to explain to you a home to sell contingency and then the home to close contingency and how it truly impacts you and how it should affect the decisions that you make moving forward. So a home to sell contingency. A home to sell contingency is when you either one, don't have your house listed yet, or it is listed yet, but you don't have a home in escrow, meaning you don't have a buyer under contract to purchase your home. Now, if you're looking to buy another home, an offer on another home, that seller is going to expect that you, if you haven't got it listed, to have it listed within a certain period of time. In my market, in the Portland, Oregon, Vancouver, Washington markets, the typical is around three to five days. It could be longer. It depends what you negotiate. Um, but they're going to want you to have your home on the market if it's not already on the market within a specified time period. If it's on the market, then there's going to be agreed upon time in which you have to get a home, your home under contract and into escrow. During that time, it is up to you as the seller of your home to sell and the buyer of the home that you're closing on to choose the timelines for which they commence. So timelines, you're looking at earnest money deposit, you're looking at inspection timelines, you're looking at if you start your inspections at the time that you have an accepted offer on your home to purchase, or you start your inspection timelines when you actually get a buyer for your current home that you're trying to sell, okay? These are all negotiation terms. The appraisal, the biggest risk to you, there's two with a home to sell contingency is one, if you decide to move forward with your inspection contingencies um, and inspections, I should say, then your biggest risk really there is just losing out on you know your inspection money or the fees that you've paid for your inspections if for some reason you can't solicit a buyer for your home and your contingency is not satisfied and um the other main thing that you should know about a home to sell contingency is that the seller on the home that you're trying to purchase can still market the property. Typically it's in bumpable status, but you really, really need to be aware of that. Okay. A home to close contingency on the other hand is different. A home to close contingency is when you actually have a binding mutual agreement. You have a buyer on your property and you have a buyer. So it's just subject to a home to close. You still have your contingency. So Earnest monies is still typically protected because you've got built-in protection of your home to close contingency. A real common question I get from sellers when they're looking at buying and selling also is, what if I sell my home and I don't have a home to move to? Well, I, I can tell you that, you know, terminology and all the aspects of the, the paperwork and the contract have to really be carefully considered 
but that is where we would write in a clause that it's subject to you finding a replacement property within a certain period of time. There's a lot of ins and outs when it comes to buying and selling um, that you should be aware of um, that I can help navigate um, for you. So if you're looking or considering buying and selling at the same time, you really do need expert guidance. So click the link below and, and book a call with me so we can chat about your unique needs and get you set on the right path to moving into your next home.